Hi, this is Herb from World of Walt here with Anisha from Walt Disney World Imagineering to talk about Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. So Anisha, can you tell us a little bit about your role in creating the Star Cruiser? Yeah, hi, so I'm Anisha, I'm a creative producer at Walt Disney Imagineering and I played a huge role in the sort of connected story experience, all of the logic that sort of makes this whole innovative two-day, two-night uh, continuous story uh, take place for all of our passengers. So having a chance to experience a taste of it, it's hard to put a label on it. It's part theater, it's part video game, it's part escape room. How do you go about describing it to someone who hasn't yet had an opportunity to check it out? Yeah, you know, we kind of think about it as a two-day adventure, right? It is, a, it is a plot that takes place over the course of those 45 hours that you're on board the Star Cruiser with us. Um, and it starts out with these uh, sort of general moments that you can start to engage with these characters, start to learn a little bit about their backstories, and then start to sort of uncover what's going on beneath the surface on board this seemingly normal passenger Star Cruiser. Um, and this is the, the particular fateful voyage where a number of things go awry and you as a passenger get to get involved with that over the course of those two days, which starts on the Star Cruiser, continues down with you to your planet excursion of Batuu, and then your consequences sort of play out that later that night when you come back on the second day. So I guess Star Wars is not Star Wars unless something doesn't go quite as expected. Correct. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, without spoiling, uh, some of the things that might go a little bit differently than what people might expect? Absolutely. Well, Chandra La Starline is uh, one of the premier uh, star cruiser offerings in the galaxy. Um, it takes guests to all of these wonderful and exotic locations. And this particular uh, voyage is our 275th anniversary of uh, Chandra La Starline. And the Halcyon is uh, reprising her maiden voyage to Batu, which is on the outer rim, sort of the edge of wild space. Um, this particular voyage unfortunately gets interrupted by the First Order who is investigating Chandra La Starline uh, for resistance activity. And so all of our passengers sort of get swept up in this adventure, uh, trying to help the resistance hide whatever activity there actually uh, is happening on board the ship or helping the First Order investigate that. Um, and there's all of these different stories that take place on board the ship that are, you know, honestly very human stories. They're, you know, people trying to prove themselves or um, a struggle between good and evil. Um, and also the family that you find along the way. You know, we find ourselves making all of these choices, aligning ourselves with characters, um, you know, choosing who to help, who to sell out, um, and really sort of finding, find, finding who we are in the Star Wars universe and really finding our own role. Interesting. So, so I've heard that the choices that you make will impact how the story unfolds for you. And maybe if you have the, the benefit of going on the Star Cruiser a number of times, your experience might be different. So yes. can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So it is um, a two-day experience, right? The, the story takes place over the course of those two days. However, your lens on that story may change based off of the choices that you make. So, for example, if you go to your bridge operations training, after training to learn um, how to operate the Star Cruiser, you may be interrupted by Captain Keevan, who needs to take the entire Star Cruiser on a detour to pick up her friend, who happens to be resistance hero Chewbacca. Um, and as a result of that, you start to develop a relationship with Captain Keevan. You get to see why Chewbacca's on board the Star Cruiser and start to help him and Captain Keevan figure out how to keep a lot of these secrets from the First Order. Um, and that sort of relationship that you start to build will either re will result in choices for you. Are you going to tell the First Order that Chewbacca, resistance hero, is on board, help him get arrested? Or if he does get arrested, are you going to help break him out and get him to safety? Um, and all of those choices that you make along the way, the characters you interact with, the places you choose to spend your time on board the ship, and the sort of uh, passive things that happen um, as a result will all sort of uh, come together in, in various ways. And you'll start to see how different parts of this story play out from different perspectives. Um, so we have many of these large-scale theatrical moments that happen throughout the voyage as well. Um, and you'll start to see that your contributions actually change the way that those play out. Um, you may be the person who found the clearance codes for Lieutenant Croy, um, or you might be the person who has sold out Chewbacca and got him arrested during your dinner voyage, or your dinner seating. Interesting. And, and I've heard that um, a as a different experience, people um, are invited to participate, but don't necessarily have to participate. There might yeah. be different levels in which people want to be a part of the story. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. We always said that we had designed this experience for people who love Star Wars and the people who love people who love Star Wars. Um, and that's true both of your Star Wars fandom as well as how familiar you are with immersive theater or how familiar you are with video games. We really wanted to create an experience that everyone can have a great time together um, with whoever they choose to bring with them. And so there's so many different ways to engage, so many different invitations 
to play. Um, and that can happen, you know, if you want to go and talk to a character in person and start to establish a relationship with them that way. Or if you're maybe a little bit more reserved and just want to kick back and grab a space cocktail at our sublight lounge, um, there's places for you to do that as well. Um, and, you know, story happens throughout the voyage. So no matter where you are, something is going to happen around you that will, that will continue and bring you along on the story of this two-day experience of what is unfolding and when. Um, we also have our Star Wars Datapad experience in the Play Disney Parks app, which really connects a lot of these things together. It is your personal view to your itinerary, but you'll also start to get messages from these characters asking you to you know, help hide this specific information for us um, or send you on specific missions that then continue the plot points of the story. So it really is an essential companion to the overall two-day experience, and we really recommend guests uh, have their data pad with them at all times when they're there. Great, and so last question. Do you have a favorite moment in developing the Star Cruiser or in what you think people will experience as part of the Star Cruiser? Yeah, I. Um, we all on the project team have poured a lot of ourselves into this experience, and, and you'll you'll see these stories come through as part of as part of engaging with these characters, engaging with these storylines that are honestly human stories. You know, regardless of how much of a Star Wars fan you are, you'll be able to relate to one of the characters or one of the storylines on board the ship because we've all sort of poured our own personal uh, personal stories into it as well. Um, my one of my favorite ones is a, a storyline that you uncover our galactic superstar Gaia, who is performing at our first dinner on night one. Um, she, you know, is on board the ship to perform this wonderful set, but there's a little bit of a secret lying below the surface with her and her manager, Ray Cole, um, and you'll kind of uh, discover that. And that's one of my personal favorites, but no spoilers. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.